Hey guys, it's Destiny, and today I want to show you guys some fun teams revolving around Ranmei and Jing Yuen. And today I really wanted to showcase Jing Yuen and just how much stronger or just how good he is with a character like Ranmei. I will be doing MOC 10 and MOC 11 to show you guys a difference. MOC 10 will consist of him and Topaz. MOC 11 will most likely be him and Ting Yun. I just wanted to show you guys this stuff. If you do enjoy videos like these, make sure to subscribe, leave a like to support the video, and without further ado, let's get straight into it. So as you guys see, we are in Memory of Chaos 10, and the team I'll be doing here is Fu Xuan, Ron Mei, Topaz, and Jing Yuan. And I'll just show you guys how this team does in Memory of Chaos 10 first, and then we will go to Memory of Chaos 11. So we do get hit in the beginning, but it is fine. We are just going to use this. And I know our field is already active, but this is mainly just for skill point purpose. I just want to be able to have that skill point, or rather in the second wave, I want to be able to have Ushwin's field on for a little longer. There we go. And now with Topaz, we're just going to use the ultimate so that when Jing Yuan uses his skill here and then he uses his ultimate, we will be able to advance forward Numbi right away. So this will be like really good damage. There we go. We got 68k and then he's going to get delayed Then Lightning Lord comes in and does a bunch of damage and then Numbi just finishes the job. So now here we are in second half. So I'm just going to use my ultimate. And the reason why that once again, I used my skill again in the beginning is so this field would last longer. So I could basic attack here. And then I could also basic attack with Ranmei there. So now we're just gonna go to town on the enemy like we were on the previous wave. Okay, getting imprisoned definitely sucks, but thankfully since we do have Fushuan, on the team and our characters do have a little bit of effect resistance we are able to resist that and as you see the field is still active so we don't have to worry about using the skill point and then we are going to the field is about to go away so instead of using Topaz's skill i'm actually just going to advance them forward with a basic attack and then attack her And then we do have, of course, the Turbulence. So, we do this. Numbi goes again. And now we have our field. So what I'm actually going to do is switch targets so I can attempt to break her toughness meter as fast as I can. Here we go. And then... Just attack with Jing Yuan. Numbi will break. Then the delay, and then she gets knocked out. And then she will also get delayed and knocked out, and then the turbulence will literally destroy her. And that was a two cycle. In all honesty, if we dealt a little bit more damage, then I think that honestly just could have been a one cycle because of how close it was. Also, this is Argenti like section right now. We have two Argentis. Argenti and Argenti. But now let me show you guys MOC 11. So now we are in Memory of Chaos 11, and the team I'll be using is Fu Xuan, Ran Mei, Ping Yun, and then also Jing Yuan. I would love to use Topaz here, but unfortunately there's no Fire Week enemies, so that's going to be really tough to try to make Topaz work. So unfortunately we're not going to have Topaz in here. But... Topaz and Jing Yuan, definitely super strong, especially because of Ron Mei. And near the end of the video, after the showcases, I'll fully explain the thought process behind the team. But we're just going to buff up Jing Yuan, and then we are going to do a similar strat as before. Just try to get as much as we can. And now use the ult type. We're going to use our ultimate. Time for the master stroke. And there we go. Okay, so now what we will do is get our Lightning Lord maximum stacks, and we will just attack like normal. We will get hit a few times, but it is a-okay. Then Lightning Lord comes in, 
and like literally shreds their weakness meters. And then with uh, Ting Yun, we just attack normally. And then we could just do this. And because they are weakness broken, we're going to be taking advantage of the turbulence, as you guys could see. This turbulence is definitely no joke. And now we just have an overflow of skill points for the most part. We just have a bunch, so I can really use them. Then he will be getting delayed, and then she will also be getting delayed, and then the turbulence comes in. Ting Yun will be getting hit, but it's actually fine because we're about to get our ultimate again, which is really nice. So we are just gonna pop that ultimate on Jing Yiwen. And of course, now we have our ult. There we go. Okay. And now we'll just use our skill with Jing Yiwen, and this Lightning Lord should just be able to kill. Yep, there we go. So now we have to definitely focus on reducing their toughness meters as much as we can. This will kind of suck because we will be getting hit a few times in a row, but Fushun should be able to keep us healthy and alive. Which is what I really like about Fushun is that her survivability for teams is honestly awesome. So we definitely have to pop her thing here. And now what we could do is just normal attack with Ron May, pop Ron May's ultimate again so we can get the penetration and also the delay if we are able to weakness break them fast enough. Here we go. And I will just keep skilling with Ting Yun because we do have the skill points. This will suck. Okay, cool. It did not actually um, make him dizzy or whatever this is. I have actually no idea what this is. Oh no! Ting Yun! Oh no! This is not good, but it's okay. We will be fine. I'm just gonna do this so that I can break them. Or rather break those little shields. And then we're gonna have to do Ron May. Oh, poor Ting Yun, she literally got dragged to the bottom. That sucks. This is proof to build effect resistance into your characters for sure. But we should be able to break here, I believe. Yes. Okay, we did. Oh my gosh, she's literally ready to use her um her ultimate. And I'm so sad because I want the energy. So we're just going to basic attack. Then another basic attack. She's about to get delayed. Okay. I am not about to have Ting Yun like back in the gutter or like back all the way down here. Let's not do that. So we're gonna break Japard. Which does a good amount of damage, of course. And now Fu Shun comes in, which Fu Shun is awesome. I'm gonna use a skill. And now we can just this again. There we go. So we actually have enough so we can get our ultimate back up. And this is looking to be basically a three cycle, I believe. Unfortunately, I think that like Ting Yun going down really did suck, but it's okay. Should kill Japard. Yep, there we go. That was a three cycle in MOC 11. So pretty good stuff, I would say. It likely could have been on two, maybe, just depending on how the flow of the battle went, but not too shabby for Memory of Chaos 10 and Memory of Chaos 11. And I did get to show you guys basically two teams. But if I were to show you guys the build real quick.
So I'd love to know what teams are you guys playing with when it comes to bringing you in or even Raw and May, just what teams have you guys been experimenting with? Because I've been having so much fun with her as a character because I feel like she enables dual DPS so well with her uh, skill especially and even her ultimate. And I did say it in my guide video and review video of her is that because of the fact that she gives these team wide buffs, she enables dual DPS, in my opinion, the best way possible. Which is why I really like Jigiwen and Topaz with her, because both of them will be able to get equal buffs. It's not like a Ting Yun scenario when only one person is getting the skill and one person is getting the ult, but instead Jigiwen gets benefits and Topaz, which is why both of them are doing pretty good numbers for the most part. So that's what I really like about Ron Mei is that she's definitely super universal on what kind of comps you could put her on. And even in the sense of a hyper carry with Ting Yun, Ron Mei, and then a sustain, she's still really good there, especially when it comes to the skill point usage. So honestly, she's an amazing character. I've been having so much fun with her, and I want to know what teams you guys have been using. Just in general, if it's not with Ron Mei, just tell me your recent RL teams, because I'd love to know. But yeah, that'll be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions about my builds or why I approach things a certain way, be sure to let me know. Also, make sure to subscribe, leave a like to support the video, and I hope you all have a nice one like always. Peace.